from Gemini and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you your minimum reading for 2019. This will be for the dates of the 16th to the 30th. However, time is fluent. So whenever you view this, when you're meant to hear the message, if it still does not resonate for you, you can try checking your moon, rising, and Venus signs for love. I do my uploads in reverse astrological order from Pisces to Aries. If you're waiting for additional messages, you can now find my upload schedule in the description box below. If I am able to upload early, I will do that. Truth. And enchantment. Enchantment's been popular. The last three readings have all had enchantment. That is so weird. <laughs> um, this is the third reading in a row that's had it. So I've actually had... Um, and I pre-shuffle, so this is weird. I actually had um, Cancer and Leo had enchantment. I don't often really pre-shuffle messages um, because they don't always resonate with the reading itself. But I do feel led recently to start sharing it because even if it doesn't apply to the reading, it may be important for someone else to hear the message. So Gemini, some of you could be moving toward an ex or a past life soulmate. Someone could be um, kind of at a crossroads with this person. They're trying to move to peaceful, calmer waters. Uh, they see their wish fulfillment. Someone sees their wish fulfillment within this past person, whether it's an ex or a, or a soulmate. Um, they see their wish fulfillment, and they're trying to manifest this new beginning with this person. Okay, whether that applies to the reading or not, you know, but that's a message for somebody. Um. What messages and guidance spirit do we have for our Gemini's for the last half of the 2019? What messages and guidance, Holy Spirit, what messages do we have? I feel the need to cut. I don't often cut because I do pre-shuffle, but... Alright, this feels good. United of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. A full Aries energy. The Four of Pentacles, Earth energy. Three of Cups, Water Energy, The Lovers, Gemini, Your Card. Keep in mind, if you hear the sign of the person you're dealing with, um, all the better for you, you know, or this could be a sign in their chart or just an, the energy they're overall embodying at this time. So we have um, Temperate, Sagittarian Energy, Queen of Wands, Aries, or Sagittarius, bottom of the deck, more air energy, Ten of Swords. So you've been wounded by something something you're going through a painful time right now and you really want honesty and truth you want truth truthful communication with someone this person they draw you in with enchantment this person they keep pulling you back in it's like you can't kind of walk away from this person but you're seeing them for who they really are uh with a ten of swords this person betrayed you this person hurt you um The Nine of Swords, I see truthful communication coming into you. I see I see you charging forward, powering through to gain truth and to gain clarity here. You want optimism. You want a new beginning. You want you want to start over with this person or with someone else. Maybe someone's coming back from the past. It's like you're holding your emotions back from this person, or they're holding them back for you. They're, they're holding their emotions back. Or they're holding the truth back. Someone's not being completely honest with you, Gemini. You want this reconciliation, or this is what they want. They want this reconciliation with you. The Rear Cups can also indicate a third party situation as well as the Lover's card. So you could have you could have two people. Your person could have multiple options. Just take it how it resonates. Your person could get a lot of attention from a lot of suitors. Or this could be you. You could just be someone who people are very magnetically drawn to, Gemini. And you just, you have a lot of people, you know, fighting for your attention, right? You have all this communication coming towards you. You have the possibilities of new beginnings. You have the choice between lovers. With temperance here, it's like um, waiting, trying to find patience. Trying to find balance. Trying to heal. Um, with the lover's card, though, it's like you feel a soulmate connection with someone. You do. And it could be past life. Um, 
the Queen of Wands. This could be a mistress here. So you could be the other woman or, you know, male equivalent, however it resonates in your situation. Or this could just be the, the energy you're embodying, someone who's very bold, very passionate, very courageous, very sexy, you know, very alluring, very enchanting. What additional messages and guidance can we bring our Gemini's for the last half of September? What additional messages, Spirit, do you have for Gemini? Page of Swords. Yeah, someone's spying here. Someone's watching you, Gemini. You're feeling very defensive and very guarded toward this individual. The Hermit, you've been really withdrawn. This is the inner Virgo energy here. You've been very withdrawn from this individual. Your emotions are very, very guarded at this time. You don't trust this person. You could be watching them. They could be watching you. I feel like it's, I feel like it's both. You know, I feel like the two of you are watching each other. Whatever they did, they hurt you in the past. Ace of Cups. So you want this reconciliation. You want this beginning in love with this person. You want them to come forward as the King of Pentacles here and offer stability and commitment to you. With Leo energy here, the Strength card, it's like you're holding yourself back from this person because you want this. You truly desire it. You're enchanted by this person, and, and they are enchanted to, about you know towards you. But you don't trust this person. You want to. You want truthful communication. You want this reconciliation. You want this new beginning in love. But you also want stability from this person. You want this person to come forward. You really committed. You want this person. You want to be able to trust this person. You've withdrawn. You've, your walls are up. You're guarded. You're watching this person. And they're watching you. I strongly feel like it's both of you. Um, the High Priestess. Pisces energy. You're trusting your intuition right now. Gemini, you're trying to look at the situation yeah the moon card more pisces energy here um you could be there's mystery here someone isn't expressing something it's like there's mystery here there's no truth there's nothing i mean it's like what is this person holding maybe this person does have other options in love maybe you have options in love but whatever it is this person hurt you they wounded you your walls are up against them. You're just kind of withdrawn. You're trying to reflect on the situation. You're hoping this person will come towards you and offer this cup of love. And you're holding yourself back from this because you're guarded. You don't want to, you don't, you're afraid this person's going to hurt you. This could apply to cross watch. You just take it how it resonates. Any additional messages we can get for our Gemini's? Yeah, this person's bringing you this Ace of Cups. They're bringing you this offer, Gemini, but you're refusing it. You don't trust this person. There's too many mysteries here. You're trusting your intuition. This person's hurt you in the past. You're so entranced, en enchanted by this person. This person draws you in. You feel this magnetic soulmate type connection with this person, but you just don't trust them. You want to. You want this new beginning in love with this person. I feel like they're going to be coming in, though. They're going to be coming in. They're going to be offering you this um, Knight of Pentacles type offer. They could be bringing you a gift or a present or just saying, let's move in together, that kind of thing. You know, let's let's go steady. Like, whatever it is. It's like, it's, a, it's an offer of stability, but you're just, your cup's turned away from this person. With the Six of Wands, someone here could have an ego. When I say that, it doesn't mean that they feel like they're better than anyone else. It's like someone's guarding their emotions. They're holding them back. They don't want to appear weak or vulnerable. Because I think this person has hurt you in the past and you're using your strength, but you're you're hoping and wishing your your desire is for this beginning with this person, but you're just you're watching them, you're not trusting them, you're you've gone within. You've you're really it's taking you a lot of strength to do this. You're standing in your own confidence here. You want truthful communication with this person. Okay, Gemini, that is what I have for you. I hope you liked this reading. If it resonated, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I thank you so very much for watching. Bye-bye.